Okay, this is a video for the case of an iPhone, not iPhone, of an iPod 5 recorded on an iPhone 6 Plus. So you can see the video camera quality of the iPhone 6 Plus and this new case I just bought off of eBay for $8.95 for iPod Touch 5th generation. I got a new iPod, go on the phone. This is the packaging it came in. It carries packaging. There you go, it's $8.95. Now this is the case. It's pretty easy to take on and off of a video time sake. I decided to just take it off, but there's, and I put it on, you'll see. So, there, there it is. Um, the silicone comes out. I don't know if that makes it easier. Hold on. What's this? Trying to do this one hand, it was probably dumb as hell. Here's this. I like putting the back on first because it seems easier. <clears throat> what am I doing with my life? This is a lot easier to put on than it looks right now. Snaps in. See it snaps in. Okay. Here is the case. The iPod 5. Now, in depth review. So, it's a matte finish. It's a very nice matte finish. It feels so nice. Now, first thing you're probably seeing is all this white is exposed, and that is the reason I got this case. I needed a front and bottom case because my iPod 4 broke because I had Beats by Dre headphones, Studio version 2s, and they stabbed the corner of the screen and cracked my iPod 4 glass, and it just shattered everywhere. So I got this to protect that if I put my headphones and iPod in the same pocket by accident because by forgetting. So, but... You think it's a disadvantage, it's not. You can easily slide your finger. You can easily slide your finger up. It's a very nice, smooth feel. So I think it was kind of smart. It's a slanted. It's slanted so you can easily maneuver your finger. Very nice. You have the raised edges, which do the same thing. They don't hit the screen that well. But that's also not bad because it makes touching it, sliding back and forth real easy. And the matte finish of the case, it's like you're not stabbing your finger while doing it. Same at the top, there's no slant, but it's still easy to reach. It's very nice. Side. Now, it's a little gap. And if you squeeze it, you can still see it a little bit. Like, there's a gap, but that's not a big deal. There's grips on the side. It's easy to grip. Now the cutouts are not too great. This cutout was sitting on the camera, which I think it is doing now. And that upset me, but I just used my nail and pushed the plastic down because this is plastic. And it went under the camera. This cutout is pretty even. You can't tell unless you're staring right at it. You can see there's more blue on that side than that side, but that's not a big deal. This cutout is not even at all. You can see how uneven that is, but that doesn't matter because who really uses this lanyard slot? I don't. I'm not going to. But uh, the grip is very nice with these grips on the sides. Very nice grip. The button at the top is not, it's really thick at the top, so it's not clicky. You have to put a little force into it. 
but that's fine because you know that the top is nice and durable. The side clicks are pretty easy to click. They're not too bad. It's a little thinner right here, so the clicks are easy. The bottom, you see the bottom. The cutout for the earphone thing is not too big, which worries me a little bit because I have Beats by Dre, Remotas, like um, Soul Republics. I have a lot of different headphones, and I'm kind of about putting them in here, but we'll just have to see. This is cut really close to the edge where the where the um, charger goes in, but so far when charging it, I have not had any problems. But yeah, this is the case. And it works very fine, it looks nice. The matte finish is just amazing. It was $8.95 off of eBay. Very nice for $8.95. I love the feel to it. I love gray. I hate the color blue. I only got it because it was 64 gig. It was a really cheap 64 gig, so I'm fine with blue as long as there's a case on it. But that's it. Off eBay.